I'm going to show you a demo of how you can upload address book records into JD Edwards Enterprise One directly using our product, Alias Links Office. Links Office is a component of Alias Links Business Integrator, an Oracle validated integration product. Here is the address book upload Excel spreadsheet. You can see that it has additional tabs to validate, navigate, and upload address book data. Notice that there are two sheets, one to enter and upload address book records, and the other contains validation data. The validation sheet contains the list of companies and all UDC codes that pertain to address book records. The data in the validation tab can easily be refreshed from your Enterprise One system by clicking the refresh button. The upload sheet allows you to create address book, customer, and or supplier records without additional steps. Fields that have code values now have drop-downs populated with the data from the validation sheet. I will now upload these six records to Enterprise One. You can see that the address number field is now populated with the address number assigned by Enterprise One. You can click on the link in Excel and it takes you directly to the address book record in Enterprise One. For Robert Johnson's record, I specified that the customer master record should be created. Let's see if the record was indeed created. When I pull up the customer master record, you can see that the customer payment terms code is set to 003 and the other fields have default values. You can see that we have the payment terms code set to 003 in the spreadsheet. Next, let's take a look at the navigation and error handling features of the template. I have reset my spreadsheet and am validating it. The address book record count is displayed in the navigation group of the address book tab. You can navigate between the records by clicking the document navigation buttons. Let's blank out the alpha field name for two records and validate the sheet. It tells me that the sheet is invalid. I can use the error navigation buttons to locate the error. I am now going to upload the data again in proof mode. The upload failed for all six records due to duplicate alpha name and tax ID. These errors are displayed in the spreadsheet itself. Now let's look at sheet formats. As you can see, this spreadsheet does not have all the address book, customer master, or supplier master fields. Having all the fields in the upload sheet may not be efficient for data entry. Links Office templates allow you to customize your upload sheet as per your upload requirements by creating sheet formats. The sheet format group shows that I have the demo format selected. The demo format shows only the fields that you currently see in the spreadsheet. I can manage sheet formats by clicking Manage Formats. Here I can add new sheet formats or change existing ones. I'm going to create a new sheet format called Test Format. You can see that every one of the Address Book, Customer Master, and Supplier Master fields are available here. There are upwards of a hundred fields available. I certainly would not want to enter every single field.
To remove fields, I select them and press the Delete key. I can always add them back to the format by double-clicking the column in the Removed Columns list, or by selecting multiple columns and pressing Add Columns. I'm going to remove all columns from the Customer Master section and add back just the category codes. In the Supplier Master section, I am keeping the EDI fields. You can also change the order of the columns by dragging the column to the desired position. Once the format is saved, I can change the format in the Upload Sheet. You can see the customized Upload Sheet now. This shows you how you can easily customize the Upload Sheet. You can see how very easy it is to upload information from Excel to JD Edwards Enterprise One. As always, Link's Office and Link's Business Integrator follow all the business rules and security you already have set up in Enterprise One. So say goodbye to Z files and multi step processes and hello to Link's Office. More information is available at our website, alias.com. That's A E L L I U S. Dot com. Thank you for your time.